Hi everyone, we are Group 4 and I'm TC and today we are going to talk about our proposal. We will separate our presentation to four big parts, which is um, our, our purpose, the proposed program, budget and timeline, and then conclusion. So first with purpose, our purpose for our proposal is to eliminate college price discrimination and reduce overall college tuition. Okay. What is price discrimination? Price discrimination is defined by when business or company wants to maximize their profit, they charge different consumer different prices based on their willingness to pay. And similar to that, colleges use FAFSA information, which is students' um, free application for federal aid to um, price discriminate students by um, their tuitions. Uh, actually, we have evidence for that. Uh, this is figure directly from the government digest of the trend of college tuition ever since 1963. And we can see from the red circle, which is here, at around 1980, this is the time when the college tuition starts to increase constantly. And there is a reason behind that. Firstly, there is a MISA Act, which is released in 1978, which allows every class of students to apply to federal aid. And in 1980, Another pro act called PLUS is released, which allows the parents of every class to apply for aid. And we can see that there's a positive correlation between the increase of tuition and the release of these two acts. So in our proposed program, we, we have this model, which is directly from film, Professor Fillmore's model. And we can see here the dash line is the uh, effect of restricting all types of information to colleges, while the line above is the baseline of the current situation. And we can see there is a substantial decrease in college tuition uh, after we restrict the types of information. And there is a theory behind this, which is called the Bennett hypothesis, which said that when there is increased uh, federal aid to, to colleges, the college would either uh, increase the uh, tuition overall or decrease their own institutional aid. So in our solution, we're mainly focusing on stopping colleges from getting the FAFSA information so that they cannot price discriminate. The first step would be that the government should take the responsibility to distribute the federal aids instead of the co uh, letting the colleges help them do that. So then the colleges don't have the ability to decide the, uh, the aid. The second step is that the government should build an uh, economic department so then they will eventually design the automated process to calculate the uh, aid for each individual student. And third, in order to do so, they will of course raise their tax accordingly, so that they have the associated costs will be accounted for. And 80% of the college's expenses would actually be coming dire directly from the tax revenue generated. One concern people may have about our proposal would be that if we focus on helping richer students benefit, how will we deal with the impoverished students? So our researchers actually show that we need to increase the need-based aid composition uh, while decreasing the merit-based aid or even eliminate them because researchers have shown that the merit-based aid actually tends to increase income inequality, which is counter, uh, contrary to the original goal of the federal aid in the first place. And secondly, the need based aid is shown to be much more effective when it comes to increasing the college persistence of impoverished students. All right. Uh, my name is Tara Martin. I'm going to be going into our budget and our timeline. For our budget, we've broken up into two different categories initial costs and yearly costs. With yearly costs, we had two major expenses, which were the economic expansion and the development of the automated system. I was talking about a little bit earlier. So up to a total of around $470,000. For our yearly cost, we, uh, the major expense came from the tax raise for financial aid. That would be 8% of the total amount of money needed for each college. It would be the total amount of money, it would be 8% of the total amount of money that colleges need for them to function yearly per student, which led to a total of 693000 for the whole total yearly cost which we broke it down into every working individual in Ohio, it'd be about 34 cents a day. All right. 
Uh, for our timeline, we broke it up into two different categories, the economic department and the software development. We have roughly, we want to get this done before autumn of 2020 to have this be implemented by the beginning of that school year, which we would then spend roughly a month to plan and approve this uh, for, for proposal, and then uh, a year for the construction of the department, and also a year to develop the automated system. All right, uh, to conclude, uh, the purpose of our proposal is to eliminate college price discrimination and our solution is to let government to build an economic department and use an automated system to distribute federal student aid. And we hope in that case, we can uh, decrease overall tuition and let the students burden for uh, college tuitions. And if you have further questions, feel free to contact one of us. And do you have any questions? I don't think so. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys. <laughs>